Well, thanks to Jason for sharing that. We're now in a conference room. In fact, it's called Super Bowl Room. And I gotta tell you, this place, it's awesome. What a fun place to work, as you just got a glimpse. We've got football helmets on the walls. The floor is like a turf floor. Really, really cool space. But what happens in this room? Well, there's fields of play on Sunday. There's fields of play in the virtual world of Madden. And there's fields of play as we're making the game as well. Um, and right here in Super Bowl, this is one of the rooms where the teams get together. Um, they talk about the production process, how they're doing, how they're making the game, the problems they face. And we also bring in outside guests as well. So we'll have coaches in this room breaking down film. Uh, we'll have players coming in talking about the features and, and what they'd like to see in the game and how the actual uh, authentic play of the NFL unfolds. Um, and the team uses all that information to make the game. Any memorable players stick out as you think back through the years that we, have sat in these chairs right here? Yes, we've always got memorable players coming in. Uh, Cam Newton's been in here. Steve Young was here recently. Um, so guys that love making the game and, and play the game of football, they love sharing their knowledge with us. That's so awesome. So we've been learning about motion capture, right? And in fact, we saw Edwin, yep. uh, the student, put on the, the suit there. Can you talk to us a little bit about how often um, you do a session like that to, to capture NFL players? Making a game like Madden obviously requires a lot of planning. Um, so Jason, our animation director, our creative directors, our art directors, our producers, and game designers, they all get together and think about what we're building, and they'll plan out the shoot. So there's usually a major shoot, at least one um, every cycle as we make Madden. That could be a week long. Uh, cycle up and outside Vancouver at our capture lab, which is still, I believe, the world's largest video game uh, motion capture facility. And then they'll also do smaller shoots along the, the year as they come up with different things that they find, uh, pick up shoots that they want to get, uh, a cover athlete that they want to get some more footage of. So it's a constant process, but something that we plan out and we think about every year. Wonderful. Well, as, you, as I've mentioned, my favorite part of these events are being able to bring the students along with us on this journey. And there's so many questions that are coming in. And so let's kick this off with a few questions. This one's from Carolina Springs Elementary, and it's from Mrs. Wisnant's class. And she's referencing 21st century skills. So if you're not familiar, communication, collaboration, creativity, critical thinking. And what they wanted to know is, what 20, 21st century skill do you think is most important to make the Madden game successful? Oh, great question. And I think if making games was as easy as playing them, then I could easily pick one of those things. But the reality is there's lots of challenges that we face in making games. Um, and it's a fun, creative process, but lots of challenges. So realistically, it's all of those skills combined that we need. Uh, we're very creative. Obviously, the teams have to collaborate. They have to communicate their ideas. Uh, and certainly, we have to you know, figure out how we're going to pull all this together. And that's why it's, it's more about just picking the skill at the moment, uh, how you prioritize not one skill for the whole year or making a game, but what you prioritize in the moment for the challenge you happen to be facing. So it's pulling the right tool out of the toolbox at the right time. Right tool at the right time. Love that. Great advice kicking off this virtual field trip. So more questions, some more advice too probably. Uh, John W. McLeod School is participating. Hope you're watching. Hi, guys. And Mason specifically wanted to know, do the engineers that create the game have, a love, have to love and understand the game of football? Good question, Mason. I, I think that when people come here, they, we get that question a lot. And the reality is you just need to be passionate about games and passionate about your craft and the expertise that you bring to the table. Um, so if, you're, if that passion is there and you love creative problems and you love solving those problems, then you know, that's where we all start. Now, certainly as the teams are created and they make Madden, I think we've seen certainly through the years that people that may not have been football fans become football fans. They're immersed, they pick a favorite team, they have a flag hanging at their desk, and it becomes part of just the overall culture of making Madden NFL football. Now the second part of Mason's question, and we got this one a whole lot, um, when the engineers are creating this and everyone's you know, taking a part of it, can they create unfair advantages for specific players oh. or teams that they might like? I'm sure they would like to, uh, but the reality is we want to make Madden an authentic football simulation for the football fans. So what happens on the field on Sundays, the players, the ratings, everything that goes into the game has to be authentic and real. So it's really not about would you want to put in some type of unfair advantage versus how do you create the most authentic experience. So when you pick up the sticks and play Madden NFL at home, you're trying to do things just like the players would try to do in the field. You're trying to do things virtually with that same team, those same uh, team members and the ratings and skills that they have. And that's very gratifying when you can pull off a win after your team loses on Sunday, which mine does sometimes. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> More questions coming in. Andrew Minnelli. Hi, Andrew. Thanks for joining. He's a part of Oceanside's Project Extra program in New York. And he wanted to know, how do you know what to improve when you're in the process of creating a new game? 
Well, we have no shortage of ideas every year uh, to make the game, and it comes from all kinds of different sources. But let me highlight three of them. One, we're what we call a player-first company. Uh, first and foremost, we put our players first in everything that we, that we do. Uh, we want them, when they spend time playing our games, to feel like that it's time well spent, it's engaging, it's fun, it's something they want to come back and do over and over again. So they're very passionate about things that they love, things that they want to add, uh, things that they've never seen before that they, they, they would like us to, to consider, or things that they want to change. Um, and that feedback is very important to us. So that's one thing. The other thing is that we always want to look for something new. Innovation is part of who we are. EA Sports is a very innovative brand. So we're constantly looking for what's new, what's happening in technology, what's happening in the way we play games as it evolves. Um, and we want to put something new in the game every year. And then, because Madden is, again, an authentic football simulation, we want to lean into that authenticity, make it real, um, and make it fun. So if you think about uh, wrapping that authenticity in something that keeps them coming back and engaged, it's always the fun factor. So it's listen to our players, invest in innovation, and focus on authenticity as fun, and fun as three things that I'd highlight. Wonderful, and I think they're probably going to see that a whole lot as we go throughout the rest of the program. We want to remind you, of course, use that hashtag, Magic of Madden VFT. Your question might be uh, answered, and we want to see your photos.